everyone. Today I'm going to be bringing you a review on a product I've had for quite a while, but I feel like I need to bring some attention to it. Um, somebody recently commented on my blog about um, how they're glad that I did a review on this product because they would have been really disappointed. So I'm glad that I could help someone. So I figured I could reach a better audience if I also do a YouTube video. Um, if you've seen my last video, I did one on Ipsy. I was wearing a pink lipstick. This is a different lipstick. I still have the swatches on my hands from my Ipsy bag, but this is a different lipstick. So just to um, clear up any confusion really quickly. So I'm going to be doing a review on Medusa's makeup. Um, back in 2006, when I first started really getting into different kinds of makeup and exploring options other than the drugstore and other than MAC and whatnot, just different um, online brands, I came across Medusa's makeup and they offered lots of different pigments and bright colors, colored mascara, glitters, everything you can need, everything you could want to be creative if you love to be creative in your makeup looks. So I checked them out and then um, about a year ago they came out with lipsticks and I pretty much had to get them. I love the packaging by the way. Black Rose, I used to be obsessed with Black Rose when I was going through my goth stage. Um, Black Rose topped, um, they got the Medusa's uh, makeup symbol, their little eye symbol on the packaging itself, and the name is on the bottom. Now on the website when I bought these, and I believe it's still the same, but I could be wrong, but when I bought them there was no lip swatches, there was no even actual picture of the lipstick, there was just a little box of the color that the lipstick was. There was no indication on finish, there was no indication on um, like what type it is, whether it's a metallic lipstick, whether it's a creamy lipstick, no indication of anything. So I took the leap because I've always loved everything that I got from them and I bought five. I got five. So, um, some of them fall very, 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 very flat. So let's start with Rio, because I like Rio. There's two, two colors I really like and the rest I'm going to give a scathing review on. So this is Rio and it's a red and orange. Hold on, let me just sufficiently wipe my hand. So it's a red and orange and it goes on rather creamy. Sorry, I didn't push down hard enough. Okay, so I had to go over that twice. And this is one of the better pigmented ones. So like I said, it's a reddish orange. It's very creamy, decently pigmented. Now they said that all of these have a lot of pigmentation in it. That's not true at all. The person who um, understands what the definition of vibrantly pigmented is was obviously asleep at Medusa's, mag Medusa's makeup the day that these lipsticks were made. He was probably out. He or she was probably out, wasn't there, and somebody was like, ooh, what's a good word to sell these lipsticks? Highly pigmented. Yeah, they're not at all. But um, Rio is decently pigmented. Of the of them, this is of all the lipsticks I purchased, these this one was decent. Um, very creamy, doesn't feather, doesn't streak, um, lasts for about five hours on the lips, really not bad. The one I'm wearing right now is also one of the best colors that they have, and this is Triple X. It's a very hot pink, true to the tube. It's, it's not so hot as it is rich and deep. Um, it reminds me of the lipstick I just had on, which is Anarchy by um, Urban Decay, and as you can see, really creamy, really opaque, lots of pigmentation. Um, very creamy, almost a satin finish. Like, it's a little shiny, but it's also muted. It's kind of like almost a muted shine. So I can't complain. And there's no discernible um, taste, but they do have like a candy-like smell, which I do enjoy. Um, now here's where my review gets kind of like angry. We have this color Undead right here. And it's a metallic frosted purple. And the pigmentation on it is absolutely horrendous. Um, I'm pushing down now. And you can see very, very streaky. I'll do another one. Hold on. Very streaky. Like, literally, when you put on this lipstick, you have to go back and forth and back and forth like four times to get that full vibrancy of color. And that's a damn shame. And you can see even there, it's still a little streaky. Like, it's just not a highly pigmented product. It's very streaky, very uneven application. It honestly looks terrible on the lips. If you're going to wear this, you have to prime your lips. You have to make sure that, you know, if you put... you wear a liner under it because you're not going to get a defined lip. It's going to feather. It's going to bleed. It's going to streak as soon as you press your lips together. It is just god awful and that's undead. Do not buy it. It's on my do not buy list. The next one we have is Skid Row. And this is a metallic, uh, I guess fuchsia. It's a pink purple. It's also metallic. Again, no indication, nothing. Just nothing on the site. And um, this is also, I mean, it's not as bad. 
but it's also, you know, you have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to actually get the color that you want. Not as streaky as Undead as you can see, but still, why should I have to build up a color that much? There's no reason for that bad quality, because obviously they know how to make a decent lipstick like they did with Triple X. Um, and last but not least, this one also isn't too bad. This is Lolita. Um, it's not the best, but it's not too bad. And as you can see, it's it's very streaky. It's just, you know, it's one of those colors you have to build up. But after you build it up quite a bit, it's a nice color, and it is creamy, and it is opaque after you build it up. I feel that any lipstick that costs more than $10, I should not have to build up and build up and build up. I should be able to put one swipe on the lips, and it should be pigmented. Unless described as sheer, or frost, or pearl... Or anything that gives me an indication that, hey, you're spending $10 to get a light wash of color. But don't tell me that it's super vibrant and, and super pigmented and all these other things that let me know that it's going to come out opaque and wonderful and it's this streaky shit right here. No. No, 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 no. I don't want that. That's terrible. You know, get a dictionary, read a beauty book, understand what pigmented means before you put it on your site. I don't know. I mean, I used to praise Medusa's makeup. I still love their shadows, but those lipsticks are terrible. So if you're going to pick up any lipstick from um, from the Medusa's makeup collection, I would say pick up Triple X. It's an awesome pink, and it goes on great. Um, I would recommend it. Plus, if you like the more gothic-y packaging, you might like that. And um, my second pick would definitely be um, Rio. It's a bright, fun orange. You know, I do like the more gothic-y colors, and I would have loved to see... Um, like a matte purple metallic or even just a purple metallic that wasn't so streaky like a higher quality purple metallic I would have definitely told all you guys to pick up um, I know Mac just recently did one with their nudes and metallic shades and they had that dark purple I think it was called um beginning with the D I believe I don't remember the name but that was a dark purple and that I heard didn't apply streaking and apply perfect. So if other brands could do it, so can you, Medusa's makeup. So um, I'll leave a link below if you want to check out their lipsticks. But I would suggest you check out their shadows and their glitters and their other amazing products. Because they're not a bad brand. They're great. They just really failed with their lipsticks. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching my review. And um, if you have tried them and your opinion differs from me, please leave comments below. I would love to discuss with you. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not applying it right. Maybe you have some tips. And I would love to hear them so leave some comments below and um follow me on instagram i'm recycled stardust thanks for watching Bye.